Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how do we download stock prices data in R. So when we work with stock prices data, we would have to download them. One way of downloading them is to download them from Yahoo Finance. So there is an easy way of doing that and that is called Quant Mode Package. So if you haven't installed the Quant Mode Package, you can install it using this line of code. Now, because I have already installed it, so I'm not going to execute this code, but I'm going to load the library, quant mode library, and this library is loaded. So the function that we use is called get symbols. And what it does is, is it goes to the Yahoo Finance, download the data from there and fetch it in our environment in R. So the first thing that I need to specify is the symbol that I want to download. So you'd have to specify the ticker that you want to do. You can search for tickers from uh, Yahoo Finance, um, get the, get these tickers, and you, you would have to specify the ticker over here. Then the second parameter is from which date you want to download the data and tell what date. So that this is this becomes the range of the data that you want to download. If I press Control Enter, this is going to take a few moments depending on the uh, the internet speed that I have and the size of the data. Now we get the data, it is an XTS object. If you are familiar with XTS object, if not, you can look into our videos on XTS object. It is an extendable time series. We have an index that is the date and we have all the variables in, in columns. So it is in wide format. Uh, we have the open data, we have the high price, low price, the closing price, adjusted price, and the volume. Now, uh, now we can plot this. I'm just going to plot this just to give you an idea. Uh, I have plotted the closing price from this XTS object. Uh, now, in this case, I have specified the start and ending date uh, within this get symbol function, but I can define the start and end date separately and then pass that start date and end date uh, as an object in my function. And I can also specify the source from where I can I want to download. So usually I would work with, with Yahoo Finance, so I would specify Yahoo. If you do not specify Yahoo, then it is by default going to download that from Yahoo Finance. Now I can get other symbols also. For example, I can download Microsoft. And in this case, instead of giving this specific date, I want to download last year's data. So what I have done is take the today's date and uh, minus 365, that is one year before today's date, uh, start one year from, uh, start one year before, uh, one year from today, uh, one, one year in the past until today's date. Uh, again, I have specified this new parameter, which is called auto assign, which I have set to false. By default, it is true. And what it does is that if you assign it, uh, if you if you set it to false, it is not going to download the data in our environment. It is just going to download it and show it to us in the console. By default, it is tr true. So that's why it always get us this this object over here. So if I press Control Enter. Uh, now remember this today's function is coming from uh, the tidyverse uh, library. So I haven't loaded the tidyverse library. Uh, so I would just load the tidyverse library and then I execute this command. So it would be executed and it would show the data in, in the console uh, rather than uh, giving me an object in my environment. Uh, I can also download the indexes. This is the S&P 500 index. Again, you can get this the ticker from Yahoo Finance. What ticker stands? Uh, what, what are the ticker for S&P 500 and etc. Lastly, how do we download uh, multiple symbols? So I have defined a ticker object over here that would contain these three stocks. Remember, I just have AAPL from this one. Uh, I want to download all these. I would just pass this ticker into my get symbol function and that would download uh, all the data from, uh, I mean, from this start date till this end date for all the three symbols. So we get AAPL, which we already had. We didn't had Microsoft. Uh, so that is also downloaded and the SPY ticker that is now also downloaded. So I hope this video was useful. Do subscribe to this channel, stay tuned to this channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video.